If you're like me, every time NASA scientists announce something about the possibility of life, or even just water, on Mars, you're like, send a probe to look for life there. Send it there. Why aren't you sending it there? The answer is that NASA is actually constrained by law from doing that. The agency sends a lot of stuff to the red planet, but it has to follow strict rules about how close unsterilized equipment can get to areas where life might be possible. It's not a frivolous decision. The U.S. and most other countries have ratified a U.N agreement dubbed the Outer Space Treaty, which among many other rules says countries must conduct exploration of celestial bodies so as to avoid their harmful contamination. Contaminating Mars with Earth life is a real concern because there's no way to be sure the equipment we send to the planet is sterile. Over the past few decades, we've learned that microbes can survive where we never would have thought, like in extreme heat or cold or even acid. So even though NASA builds its probes in a clean environment, some hardy microbe is already bound to have slipped past the defenses and wound up on Mars. We know there's life on Mars already because we sent it there. That's why it's so tricky to go look for life in those water flows. For one, we don't want to send microbial alien invaders that might wipe out existing Mars life. And also, simply having Earth microbes around makes it that much harder to tell whether any life we find is actually Martian. You can't do a you know, do over on releasing organisms in the Mars environment. Once they're there, they will be there. We really want to understand what's there at Mars and not see the stuff we brought with us. There's some debate among scientists about how strict the rules are, though. A 2013 paper in Nature Geoscience caused a stir by calling Mars planetary protection efforts a waste of time and money, saying if Earth microorganisms can thrive on Mars, they almost certainly already do. And if they cannot, the transfer of Earth life to Mars should be of no concern. And those efforts are undeniably expensive. Baking a spacecraft like NASA did with the Viking mission cost around $100 million. Other scientists argue that there's no way to prevent Mars contamination anyway, since every year asteroid strikes kick up clouds of rocks that float back and forth between the two planets, potentially carrying life. So far, these suggestions haven't swayed the international community toward turning Mars into a microbe free-for-all. So for now, NASA will continue its slow, careful, almost tedious exploration. For Newsy, I'm Leah Becerra.